Hello everyone, this is Endgame Arts. We'll do another unboxing, another breakdown, another demo. Now this is Tomb Raider, the Rise of the Tomb Raider. This is the uh, the, uh, the complete collection of it. But basically you can call it the, the definitive edition of the, the game. Now this is not available on Xbox One by my understanding. It's only available on the PlayStation 4. I also want to point out that this actually supports 4K resolution as well as there is many updates that was provided that's not on the physical disc as you saw at the beginning of the video the VR support and everything is not on the disc you have to download the update the updates around 2 gigabytes I know this video is a bit late but I actually wanted to run through as much of the game I uh, throughout the entire game without those updates to let you know how the game ran without the hu this huge update and I only had the game crash on me once so all in all, you don't really need this update if you don't have internet or don't want to download this huge update. Uh, other than that, this game comes with all the DLC that's ever to come out. From all the uh, guns and the costumes and the, uh, the blood ties and Laura's Nightmare. As well as I mean, all the other uh, nuts and bolts that came with uh, many of the updates that came on Xbox One. Aside from the few the updates at the beginning, you saw the video. To jump to the game, uh, the game is basically it just... An improvement base of the original one at release back on the PlayStation 3, which did also get a, a PlayStation 4 release called Tomb Raider The Definitive Edition, which is a good game. You should definitely look into that one. As I said, this comes with all the DLCs, so all the guns and all the uh, different variety of weapons and uh, those are on the disc as well. So you will not be able to immediately pick them right as you uh, play the game and go to your campfire. Some will have to be locked until you got like a certain upgrade or got to a certain point of the game. So if you don't see it immediately there, don't panic. There's no redeem code or anything like that. You just got to reach a certain point in the game or unlock a certain thing before it becomes all available to you. So, I mean... Uh, most of the DLC equipment is not really game breaking or anything like that. I did play personally through the, the entire game without using any of the DLC benefits or anything like that. Because if you're first time playing, you should use the equipment that was originally intended. Then you can play it all out how you want to choose to do so. And in this video here, you're actually seeing New Game Plus. I decided not to show you really any content from the story wise. More of us with spoilers and just to actually show you what you're getting from this physical copy of the collection here it's more of this video is more about talking about just the sheer fact of what the content is than the actual game itself as i've always said i don't really do reviews i do a product reviews but to the game as i said man it plays just like your typical tomb raider game from the uh, the newer iterations it's it's a lot of fun it's a great improvement to the series there's nothing really wrong they've really stepped it up and put the visual graphics the voice acting, the story, the music, and everything. Everything's really good. I just personally, myself, didn't feel that this really stepped up from the game from the uh, first release, to my opinion. Because the first one they did, the, the first remastered Tomb Raider, was really impressive. And I thought it was a great iteration. It was a new generation for people. Because I've been part of the Tomb Raider series since the original first one on PlayStation 1. Man, I remember my dad when he first got it. Oh no, I thought that the first one was really good. This one... I don't think it had the same impact to me personally to from the original series that they did in the first one. I'm not saying it's a bad game. I just it didn't feel like they did anything new with it. They just kind of just continued from it. Man, and and I personally through the story, I couldn't help but feel a little disappointed there was not more emphasis on what happened in the previous game because it just felt like it was hey, they the last game was just a thing. So, man, we're moving on from that. I would have liked a little bit more emphasization of what happened in the first one. Like, man, show her counseling and all that stuff they, they showed in trailers and stuff like that. I would have seen more of that in the game. About her dealing with the struggles of it. Than just merely jumping in and her being some badass character. It would have been nice to see more development of the struggles of, man, seeing some stuff you did you never thought existed. But to the game... It gets all the forging and equipment, get, gaining and everything like that. You can make ammo on the go. You can make ammo at the campsite. If you make it at your campsite, you make more ammo available to you than making it on the go. The gameplay is great. It works. It's smooth. It's got great stealth. It's got great the hunting ability. You can watch me make some terrible shots here. I know I'm I'm, I'm bad somehow. From I can't aim for aim for nothing. <clears throat> but uh, it still looks fun as always. I always found that really fun in the other one. And I'm glad they brought that back. I really enjoyed it. Nay, it's weird, nay, to play a game like this and actually enjoy the hunting aspect of it more than actually than doing the game. Because I, I spent a lot of time doing the hunting. Because it was just so much fun. Nay, 
this game is just like I said, it's more of just a, the of the same thing that you got from the last series. It just really continues off, and they just polish it out, allow more, Laura Croft to do more moves and a little bit more flexible with your directions and hunt choices you want to make with it. Story wise, it's nothing a cut above from other stories. It's, it didn't really intrigue me as the first one. To be personally honest with you, it was interesting and it had a very how do you say Christianity feel to it with the whole prophet and kind of being like him being brought back to life it had a really christianity thing about jesus christ and stuff like that it's almost like they were trying to tell that story without being that story if you've played the game you, you'll know what i'm talking about it really really felt like that's what they're trying to go with and it's really cool and i understand why they chose not to make it feel like that but i really felt like if you were going to go that committed it would have been nice of them see to go full out and just go ahead and yeah make it like some form of name jesus christ story or stuff like that because i like it when games are brave and show that they, games can be be realistic because I don't know if the whole this whole prophet story is true in real life. I don't know if it's like an actual old legend or something like that. I personally do not know. And it would be great if it's a true story, but all in all, it didn't feel like a true story, but I don't want to be that. I don't want to say something that may I may not know about. I'm just saying that my, how my personal feelings for it. As you see, the game works as just as your typical clean out it. It's got the, all the DLC content. You can't go wrong with that. I don't play online, so I don't I have no judgment on the online specs aspects. You've probably seen that in my past videos if you've been with my channel a while. I don't really play online gaming. It's not something I'm interested in. So I'll leave that to other opinions. I'm sorry. I know that if you want my opinion on that stuff. I, that's not what I do on my channel. I'm always about an offline experience. I just cover the updates in case you want to know information about that. This game is a good buy if you're a collector and everything like that. And as I said, you don't need that two gig, nearly two gigabyte update. And I don't know what the game looks like in 4K. I don't know anything about the VR because I just don't have a 4K TV and I don't have a VR headset, so I can't give you an opinion on that. I'm sorry. I know I should give you all the details, but I'm just a normal person like all you guys, so I got what I got. The game's fun. I can't regret it. If you're a collector, get it. You can't go wrong with it. Um, it comes with all the stuff, so you can't go wrong with that is either. Uh, the only other gri gripe I have, and this is what Square Inc. is, I'm tired of these uh, game cases that have um, the art book within the case. In mean, my personal opinion, I don't like that at all. I, it makes the case too much bigger than normal cases. It's awkward to open. It makes you feel like man, the case is more fragile. you got to be more careful with it. Because due to the fact it's more of a paperback, it's got all the papers and stuff like that. I just wish they would separate it. Because I don't even think they even have a regular case version for this game yet. I hope they do because I would prefer having a regular case. And that's the only my gripe is really with the game. And also, I played this game. I played this game on the highest difficulty, uh, my first playthrough. And I pressed my pen in. You might want to play it like that because the game's kind of easy. I kind of bleeds through it. I like I said, I know this video is kind of late, but I wanted to go through the entire game and try to cover everything I could, so that way you guys can know the game work without the update. I try my best to do that for you guys, so you can know if you need that update or not. I, do, I can't do that with every game. I'm just a normal person like you guys. I got other things I got to do. But man, all in all, this is a must buy for a physical collector. And if you've never played it, it is available on Xbox One and on PC. But this is the complete collection for you, and it's only available on the PlayStation 4 at this moment. It may come to another console or something like that. I don't know. All in all, great game. I'll leave links down in the description if you want to order a copy. Um, hit that like or subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. And <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!